Finally on Todd for G66, welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. Following on from last week's video, I want to look at another one block wonder. I'm on the Axe FX 3 and we're going to take a look at four things you can do with the multi-tap delay block. Before we get started, I've got a PRS CE24 plugged straight into the Axe 3. You are going to be hearing the DI outputs of the Axe 3 recorded straight into my digital audio workstation, and I've got the Solo 88 lead loaded up with my free LTTV Mix 7 cab IR on the bridge humbucker. We get this. A very thick and saturated high gain sound right there. When you've got a big, thick, saturated high gain sound, often you're gonna be playing some lead guitar. And one thing that the multi-tap delay does so well, straight out of the box, are lead delays. I find you basically don't really need to do any tweaking on these. You can just select between a few different types and go. The default type is the quad tap delay. I've got it at the stock settings. You can see there are four different tempo synced delays in here. But if you go to the type selector here, you've got a bunch of extra options, whether they are these Alan Holdsworth inspired lead delays, an ambient tape delay, the amazing Aurora delay, circular delays, Lexicon PCM70 inspired delays, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I'll start out with the stock quad tap delay in here, then we'll hear the PCM circular, the Aurora delay, and a bit of this ambient tape delay. Let's hear it dry, and then with the block kicked in. <laughs> A lot of parameters in the multi-tap delay, it can seem a bit daunting, but I find I can get instant inspiration just by trying out some of those types on there. And I'd encourage you to do the same thing. Now, the multi-tap delay is amazing for lead delays, but it's also a fantastic modulation machine. And there are several chorus types available in the type 
block over here. So let's start out with some chorusing over here. There's a fantastic sounding quad chorus. I just moved over to the band commander amp model. I'll just turn this reverb off for now, but I will kick it in in just a second. I am on one of the parallel modes on this guitar now. <laughs> Also heard the MD chorus in there, which is based on an old Yamaha floor delay that Alan Holdsworth made some presets for. You've also got the quad chorus that we heard at the start and the 1210 mode based on the TC1210. If you grab my blocks library, I've got a version of that 1210 that I have tweaked slightly to match the hardware 1210 that I'm borrowing at the moment, and it sounds incredibly close. All right, let's go to scene three over here. Same clean amp, but I've done something a little bit different in here. You can see there's lots of options in the multi-tap delay where not only do you have four delay lines in here along with time modulation, you can add chorusing to each delay line in there. You can add comb filtering in there. So if you want flanger style effects and you can even add ring modulation to each of those delay taps on there. So one thing with the ring modulator is if you use it at a really low frequency, you almost get a kind of faux uni vibe, harmonic tremolo sound out of it. So what I've done is I've taken the stock Aurora delay, turned the mix up to 50%, in the master section, I've turned the master time all the way down to zero, but then I have cranked up the mix on the ring modulators on here. So you can see the frequencies are all like two to three hertz over here and then five and about six hertz over here. This is going to give you an immaculate sounding stereo uni vibe or harmonic trem. It's a really unique effect. I like it after the cab, but it works just as well in front of the amp block as well. Let's hear it without and then with it. dial that one in from scratch, simply grab my free blocks library from the video description and load up the multi-vibe block. It's all there for you and you can go and have some fun. So that's a very 70s inspired effect. We've heard some lovely shimmery 80s style chorus out of this and we've heard some soaring lead delays. We could combine some of those using a single 
instance of the multi-tap delay block. One example would be chorus and delay. So I've taken the quad chorus, I just tweaked the delays on delay one and delay two, and I've taken delay three and delay four. I've set one to a quarter note, one to a dotted eighth note, pan them hard left and hard right, and these will give me a lovely dual echo. So what I could do over here is say, turn the overall level of these delays to zero, so they're off, and we are just going to get our lovely chorusing effect. I'll move this after the amp and cab so that we can hear that. Let's check it out. Alternatively, I could set the chorus off by turning delay one and delay two levels to zero, and then I could crank up delay three and delay four. This is my dual delay aspect. Then of course I could use both of them together on there. Let's crank up the level for delay one and delay two. That's gonna be my chorus aspect and then I've got that lovely dual echo on there. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Again, if you want those settings, that is in my blocks library saved as chorus and delay. Again, the blocks library is linked in the video description. And I hope this gives you some ideas to use the multi-tap delay as more than just a delay. It's a fantastic sounding chorus. It's an amazing sounding spin on an old uni vibe. And of course you can combine chorus and delay or flanger and delay, or you can use the diffusion in here to smear out your echoes and get a reverb style effect. I've done plenty of tutorials on the multi-tap delay here on the G66 channel, as well as my own channel, but it's a new year and I feel like it is worth reminding people how powerful this single block is on here. It truly is a one block wonder. That is all for this week. If you've got suggestions for future Tuesday Tone Tips, let me know in the video description. Have a fantastic week and I will see you all on the next one.